estaba comiéndolo y tenía la semilla. Mayo, dale. Y estaba lloviendo. Y estaba como lleno de Pero sí hay centro de comercio en todos lados. Pero, y entonces las prioridades están mal. So, with the money from our school, we built this house for the family of Don Santos. And as you can see, this is much nicer than the house that was here before. It's a very simple house, uh, but before they had a house made out of sheet metal and now it's made out of concrete. And they have concrete floors instead of dirt floors. Um, and it's much nicer than it was before. And this is their bedroom where they, they sleep, over here. And they have a living room in this area. They have a front porch now. Uh, they have some banana trees in the front yard. And they also have two bedrooms over there. So we have significantly improved the quality of life of this family uh, who so thoughtfully let us take their land and build the school on it. So in return for us, them giving us their land, uh, we gave them this house. So thank you to all of you who supported this. Mejores en todo. Porque vaya, esta casa pues está de bloc. Aquella casa era de lámina, se mojaba y más amplia. Y más bonita la casa, es superior. Yo me siento feliz, agradecido con Dios y con ustedes. Y con todo lo que me ha ayudado, pues. Esto ha sido un, algo que yo no puedo dejar de darle gracias aquí a usted, Rosti, y a todos. Y a mi Padre Eterno que es Dios. Que en realidad, pues, me ha ayudado a tener esta casa que yo no soñaba. Okay. Porque está muy bonita, a donde viví antes, es una gran casa. Okay, so this is the wall that we constructed with some of the funds that we collected from our school. Before this was here, it was just basically barbed wire, and a lot of times the kids would get caught on it. On the other side is a private residence, and so it was very important for the safety of the children, and they closed the school better to make this wall. And you can see they, they brought an ex-student to make, paint this mural, so the children would have something nice to look at. And the wall goes all the way up to the front part of the school. Uh, so you can see that it, it, it was a pretty big construction project, but with the funds that we collected, we were able to complete it. And the director of the school and the, the children of the school are very happy that, that we were able to do this for them. So one of the first things we did for our sister school, way back four years ago, when uh, many of you were in middle school or even elementary school, is we bought fans for the school, because back then they didn't even have fans and it was very hot. And so you can still see some of the fans that we bought four years ago for the school are still here and it keeps the kids nice and cool and we have fans in every classroom now so that they can study. So about two years ago, there was not a wall here. There was just mud. And ever since they had an earthquake in 2001, this part of the land was very unstable and they were very worried about this classroom falling over. And so with the money that we collected from our school, uh, we spent about $300 to build this retaining wall and it goes all the way around and it holds up the back of the school so that it would be very strong and it won't fall in the case of uh, a hurricane or any other kind of uh, major natural disaster happening. So with that money we've contributed to the safety and the structure of the school. So this is what was once the library and has now become the computer room. And with uh, the funds and the participation of our schools, we have been able to acquire some used computers and you can see they have quite a few computers now for the kids to learn. Uh, they're, they're older computers but they work just fine. Uh, they don't have access to internet uh, but they learn the basics of how to use Microsoft Word and things like that. And you can see that it's a pretty nice space. The school has put in its own money to buy some of the furniture that you see in here. And they've also been able to put in a, a ceiling and an administration room, so a place for the director to uh, have her meetings. And this is probably the best thing that our school has done to help our sister school in, in El Salvador, is purchase this piece of land right here. This is where the family uh, whose house we just saw used to live. And now you can see that they've transformed it into a community garden. So they actually plant food here and take the food out and use that in the school lunches. Uh, eventually, this is where we're going to place a classroom. We're working with another nonprofit organization, Plan El Salvador, 
that's going to give them a new classroom on this piece of land that we purchased for them. Uh, so you can see that this has been a huge uh, benefit for not only the school but also for the community, giving them fresh vegetables and a place for the kids. The fourth graders actually come out here and learn about gardening and planting uh, and taking care of the environment through interacting with this garden here that we have for the community. Mira el pepino. ¿Cómo se llama rábano? Es pepino. Es el radish. 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 Ajá, quebrar verde y echar tierra para que el este el terreno fuese verde. Okay, so this is the playground that we built for our sister school here in El Salvador. And you can see that the kids are using it, they're enjoying it. Uh, they're using the seesaw as well as some of the other metal things that we put up. And before this, they didn't have much of anything here, so this is a big improvement.